Hello, this is Micah Garrett, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a simple wall detail in Revit. I'm going to start here with an architectural template, opening up a new project. And one of the first things I'm going to want to do here is to draw a footing. And I'm going to come over to my elevations and add a level here just so I can get all my measurements right. So we're going to title this to be the base of footing. And in this case, let's go ahead and make this an 18 inch deep footing. Everything else here should be just fine. This just gives us a good starting place. And I can go to my actual floor plan here and we're gonna select a wall type. And in this case, let's just do a generic 12 inch wall and I'm gonna draw this on here and you can see that it sometimes likes to extend a little bit further down than you want it to so go ahead and adjust the level so that it's the appropriate height and then I'm also going to edit the type of this wall I actually want it to be about two feet across and so we're going to go to the structure and edit this here. All right, now we've got a nice footing there, and this can be a place where we can start stacking our blocks. So I'm actually going to go here and insert in my build block family. And in this case, you can find these online at buildblock.com. These are our BIM models that we've recently created. And here I'm going to add a six inch block. I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of these components and let's go ahead and put a couple of them down. One of the key things with these actual models is they're, uh, they have a lot of detail in them so they're a little bit slow to load but I'm going to go ahead and stack a couple of them and these will stack individually in this case. And let's put four of them down here. From here I can use my alignment tool. Uh, this is just a short key AL. And then I can also draw my measurement here. In this case I want my actual block to be five inches from the edge of the footing for where maybe a brick ledge might go. And the short key for that is DI. So here we go, we got this at five inches now and I've got it aligned here at the front of the footing. And we're gonna go ahead and align the rest of these blocks to get them all in the same spot. And kind of get these as they are stacked up. All right, from here let's go ahead and put a section view in. That will allow me to view these all from the side. Feel free to label this however you want. In this case, I'm gonna call this the ICF wall section. And you can click that and see the view here. I also want a little bit more detail, so we're gonna switch the view to fine in this case. And next, we're gonna put these all on separate levels, and we're gonna offset this from the base. So each one, each block is 16 inches tall. So I got 16 inches here, we'll go up to 32, and finally 48 inches. You may have to adjust your view parameters to be able to see all these. All right, so now we have a nice ICF wall right there. One of the key things with the actual wall section and putting rebar in is that you have to have a structural member. And so in this case, we're gonna put in just a generic wall in the middle of these blocks so that I have a structural thing to put the rebar actually in. So I'm gonna draw a six inch wall right here and put it in the middle of the block. And you can see that in the section view. We we'll need to make a couple of adjustments to make sure this is in the right place. And we're going to make this five foot four, which will get me to the top of the blocks as they are stacked. 
and we'll take this up to level one. There we go. Now, occasionally these lines are a little bit thick on these wall types. So if I go to object styles, I can adjust all of this. And we can go to walls here and we can change the lines to one in this case, and that makes them a lot more thin, a little bit easier to see in this situation. I also wanna click structural on both of these members. So that way I'll be able to put rebar in these walls here shortly. Okay, moving on, we're gonna click here to structure and go over to rebar. Rebar, we will have to select a couple of things. It may want you to put hooks in it. Um, you may or may not want those. Next, I'm gonna to go to structural rebar shapes here, and I'm gonna actually add all of these different shapes in. And if I click this little drop down here, you can see that it actually loads all the different types of rebar shapes that I may wanna use. So let's put some rebar here in the footing. And we want some straights in here. Now we may need to change the work plane that we're working on to be able to get these to align. In this case, I want these to actually run perpendicular to the face. And so we're gonna put these bars that we're gonna go into the footing itself. And you can see here there's different sizes of rebar that you may want to put into your wall section. So now we're going to put, go ahead and put in a cold joint into this actual wall itself that's going to extend into the footing. This is typical for a vertical that's going into your block section. And in this case, I want to go ahead and put a hook on it. This will give it an L shape that will go and, and hook into the footing. And I'm going to put it up here, and I actually want it to extend into the kind of other side of the footing, so I'm going to rotate this around so that it faces the right way. And we'll kind of line this up and make sure that it's extending just as we want it to into the footing here. And we can adjust the height of it, get it to where we need to be. And I want to extend this almost up to the top plate. Okay, well now we'll go ahead and put in a couple of horizontal rebar pieces here. Oftentimes we're going to offset these on opposite sides in each block. That gives me a vertical chase that the that the rebar itself is going to sit in here. And you may want to do some adjustments to the actual rebar to help it be a little bit more visible. If you go back to object styles here, you can go ahead and adjust the structural rebar itself and change the color. And that may allow you to be able to see it a little bit more effectively in your detail here. We're gonna click apply. And there you go, now you can see all the rebar much easier. All right, next part is we're going to do a little detail work here. And these detail items are where you'll find a bunch of very useful things. Here I'm gonna be putting in a break line. This is kind of just showing a area of the wall itself that is going to be repeatable. And so I'm gonna place two of these in here, and this gives me a good break in the actual wall that is going to repeat itself over and over again. Make sure that you don't have your view in wireframe, otherwise these line breaks will not show up. I'm gonna go back to component, load family, detail items, and here we're gonna actually get a anchor bolt that's going to go on top.
there's a couple of different options. Sometimes you have to hunt around a little bit for what you're specifically trying to find. Here we are in metal fastenings, anchor bolts, and we want the hook side in this case. A couple different sizes. Here I'm going to use a 3 8 anchor bolt. We'll pop this in here that's going to go in the top plate. Rotate or adjust as needed. And now we have our anchor bolt in the top section. Next, I want to actually add a top plate to this, and so we're going to go back to detail items, and I'm going to go to wood, wood framing, and here's some sectional lumber. Load in some of those, and I'm going to select a 2 by 12 since we're working with a 6 inch wall. We'll drop that in there, and you can see that this is also, the lines are too thick here. So I'm going to go back and manage object styles, detail items, and we can change the line type here to something a little bit less. There we go. That's more visible. Let's adjust this height here. And there we go. We have a nice wall detail that I can select and drop into a project and give me some work that I can uh, show. Uh, some specific details for my customers. Hope you enjoy this and uh, look forward to creating some more content and getting more information out to y'all.